Right, developing tonight, a growing scandal involving employees at a Miami-Dade County Commission office. A second and third arrest involving theft of public money, and this may not be all. Local 10's Glenna Milberg live now in Miami with what she's learned today. Glenna. Calvin, the arrest warrant is 52 pages, and it unspools a pretty complicated scheme, but it all comes down to this. County insiders who know how stole money, they say, from people who needed it the most. Had the power to grant grants or not. He had the power to decide the amount of the grant. And McKinley Lauriston abused that power, according to prosecutors, the former chief of staff for Miami-Dade Commissioner Jean Monestime. Manipulate this grant system for their own personal financial benefit. His arrest is the latest among current Monestime aide Evel Judy and their accused money launderer Nadine Cherry, a banker at a Hollywood Wells Fargo. A lot of counts listed here, racketeering, organized fraud. Here's Dozens of charges Sam each, Fidel. and for more than five years, says the state attorney, Congress. the men used a variety of ways, applying for cultural affairs grants, grants for kids and seniors, donations, even county reimbursement for fraud purchases. They received it through corporations and at least one foundation they'd set up for that purpose, according to the arrest warrants. One originally at the same address as Commissioner Monestime's district building in North Miami. For youth and for families. Commissioner Monestime's District 2 comprises some of the county's poorest neighborhoods. The organizations may not have even known their names were being used. These individuals leveraged uh, a position of trust and a position of authority to steal the public's money. I actually texted Commissioner Monestime today. He answered that he is not at liberty to comment because it is in the hands of law enforcement. They say here there is no indication that the commissioner had any idea of what was going on in his office. A couple of things we asked the state attorney that she wanted to keep under wraps. One of that and one of them is who tipped off prosecutors to all this about seven months ago and the other are any other arrests or charges coming? Again, that is not public information at this time. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami today, Local 10 News.